YouTube, uh, I had a guitar and did a video of yesterday, the Aria Cardinal series, which I really enjoyed it because it's quite similar, or the same era, the same company as the Thor sound, um, and the Thor sound bass, I'll, I'll end up, I looked them out, and I was going to do a wee jam using all three of them, but I basically I, I forgot how much this bass is pure amazing, and it's totally one of my favourites, um, and that guitar, I never finished it. The pickups were set too low in the frets. I'd obviously done some sort of levelling, but because it was my guitar, I probably had something else on at the time, so I stuck the P90s in it and then just continued on. So I've now polished the frets up and put the pickups at the right height. So I kind of want to use that. I might go on to the Cardinal, depending on how much fun we have here. Um, so this is a Thorsound TSB 1983 standard. Um, it says, I think it says TSB standard in the start. TSB being Thorsound bass. So 32 inch scale. Um, this is not the original bridge. I do have the original bridge, which I got about a month after I got the bass, because um, I got it off my pal Scott. Um, and I would put it on, but I, I, I unfortunately drilled an extra two holes. It kind of looks the same. Um, the pickup is actually from a, a Washburn Force 4, I think. It's, it's, the, it's the, the kind of pickup that should be in it. Actually, the pickup I had in this for ages was the one that's currently in the Wii Red Bass. Which was another wash one, which I'm pretty sure these nowadays I, I think it's exactly the same pickup, apart from it's got smooth covers. It doesn't have the the sort of Demarzio uh, Allen key um, pole pieces on it. Also, the scratch plate was broken, kind of snapped off here, which happens quite a lot when you've got like a you see it in P bases a lot because the jack socket's plugged into the plastic scratch plate. You stand on that and it snaps off. Whereas in this one, I've actually one of my first ever forays before Buster gave me a big pile of aluminium check plate. I had a wee off cut and I made this bit and painted it black and I think it looks pretty good. It might even look better than it would if it if it if it wasn't damaged. Um the neck is the head's also a little bit interesting. It's been it's split and uh it had been screwed together with a, with five different types of screw. Um so I basically undid all the screws, glued it up, clamped it, and then thought, well sod it, I'll just put screws back in the holes, because that's obviously gonna help at some point in it. Um, so we've got the original tuners, um, it's a, not a one piece neck, it's got a separate fingerboard, but it's just, it's it's very, very lumpy on the back of the neck, if you can see, it's got so many dents in it, you can't actually feel them because it's all lumpy, but there's something about this bass, um, basically, this is another one of those guitars that everyone who's had a shot of is going, how much do you want for it? <laughs> it's like one of those, um, just kind of, I suppose it's, it's like a, a slightly small P bass, maybe a little bit pointier, um, but it just... The headstock's maybe not the the greatest, my favourite shape of headstock, but the bass itself, I'll be using this in the Black Sabbath band for the gig we're playing next Saturday or the weekend after. Um, it's just so, it's so easy and because it's 32 inch scale, it's that, that wee bit nicer. Um, Wise, it's probably about right for the Black Sabbath band as well because there's a, a, a good section of the I think the reunion tour um Geezer was playing like is it, I can't remember what it is it a sandbag or something like that? it was a head not 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 that dissimilar to this and it's, it's just a tobacco burst P bass with this big um see that this big flat so almost SG type carve in the top um love it love it so I'm gonna put a wee back in track
value tuner. I need to stop complaining about the fact it's a value tuner and just buy one. Um, video not completely unwatchable eh? six minutes in i've only just put down a tiny bit of um backing track yeah so this is actually the second video today this is like a wee bonus to, to watch it just i actually kind of noticed when i was just how much i actually love guitars of this era if you'd asked me you know before i'd done up the card like, what's your favorite years like, about the early 80s like 82 83 japan the matsumokus or the ibanez or something they are just like super awesome um but it just kind of didn't really come through. You see the, th the third Thor. Thor, Thor sound guitar, TSB bass, and my Porsche 911, which uh, has green headlights. I was actually looking at it there, wondering if there was any way I could put an LED inside the driver's head so his eyes lit up green. Um, that's the one that was banned from Scott's track because I put a massive magnet super glued to the axle on it and it just it was just unbeatable. It was like there's not even any point in racing it because nothing could come up <laughs> up against it. So last night we were uh, racing with Scott and his DeLorean. I couldn't, none of the other cars could even catch with it to the point of can't really race. So that's going back. Put it up against the DeLorean, see if it wins. Anyway, so this is uh, a TSB again. This is a, this is 82. That one was, that one was just 83, wasn't it? 83, that one. 83. The zero number on the old Japanese ones. Um, first numbers of the year. So it starts with a three, starts with a two. Uh, I think this is a UK only model. It doesn't appear in any catalogues. Um, there are other Thor sounds. There's a starter set 300, I think, which is kind of looks a bit more like the, that. It's got the, the zebra humbuckers and stuff like that. So it's obviously a higher up one. This one should have two single coils, but there is a three single coil version. Um, I put these GNL American pickups in it because my pal had bought a GNL and didn't like the noise. So he, he bought stacked pickups, very expensive ones, I seem to remember. And I kind of prefer, I, I, the noise doesn't really, I, I kind of like, they're P90s, they're meant to hum and buzz and stuff. So I put them in this and end up really liking it. So basically it's exactly the same neck as the Cardinal. Like just, I would literally just say that I bet you they're just, they just come off the assembly line. Okay, this one, just before the printing of the thing on it, I'm missing the trust rod cover. I am going to, I was looking for a, a bit of black plastic. I'm going to make, draw around the Cardinal trust rod cover, which you can't see because it's slightly too high put it on this one because this one's missing um yeah so is that a sycamore body Some, something funny it's a sort of strange a strange wood you wouldn't normally make a, a guitar out of uh, a three-piece laminate neck with some fantastic figuring in it actually which is not going to show up uh this one has had the tuners replaced this has got wilkinson type grovers on it and the bridge has been replaced as well it's got roller saddles and whoever put this on was very lucky because it is in tone but i mean those roller saddles are almost as far back as they go they must be slightly longer than normal saddles. You know, normally you would expect. You might you might get a wee bit. Not really. That's kind of maxed out, but it is intoned. And now I've done. I've cleaned up the frets, so it's nice and slidey. And for some reason, there's no sound. There's no sound because the amp's not on. You have to turn the amp on to get sound. It's 
It's actually nice to go back to Elixir strings. This must have been before I decided it was too cheap to buy Elixir strings because these strings are actually still pretty good and they must have been on it for a couple of years now. <laughs> maybe the action's maybe a wee bit low. I would have it set up, just out of interest. I normally go for about a 1.25. Okay, right, it's point, point 0.75, um, yeah. So this is basically set up with the same action as the Paul Kilbert one. So it's just a little bit on the side of Spanky. <laughs> But not very much. What was that I just played in the bass now? Sounds quite like a P90. First, it's got two layers for us. Thank you. 
Oh, actually, I tried this with the Bowie to Lambo bus pedal there. Which may or may not work very well, let's see. Before I moved on to nines, so these strings are tens, that's why I'm pulling bigger faces than normal when I'm not really bending that high. I first got up Sabbathy. Thank you. 
Found my um, there's a noise. My tomorrow night's live stream guitar. Um, yes, I. This is awful good. I do like the P90s. Um, this is why I got rid of my gold, my golden, um, my Godan, which was P90. It seemed more Duncan P90s in it, but this guitar is better. That and oh, oh my God, that guitar it's better. And again, put it up against fucking anything. Um, <laughs> Super fancy guitar, but I can I like this. The look of this one, I prefer the look of this one, the shape wise to the Cardinal. Because as soon as I saw this, it's like, oh, what is it? Actually, it's um, they kind of reused the shape. I don't that's kind of way about this one. Well, actually, because I had the base that matched, but not a million miles away from this one, shape wise, really, is it? Okay, it's got the sort of SG carves on it, but basically it's the same body in it. This is a a jet, not a jet, a laser series heritage. Um, as you can see, there's definite DNA similarities. Uh, it's got the same neck on it. Well, it's got a rosewood board on it. Basically, the same sort of thing. This is a, another one of those. If you can ever find one of these, are fucking awesome guitars. Um, but nobody knows what they are. So, and I sold the bass. I only get two hundred and fifty quid for it, which is it's sick. Um, it's like that that you can pick up a guitar like that. 250 quid and it's like you're like right okay so what what other kind of guitar can you get for 250 quid you're not you're not if you're not into mexican vendors then at that point and you've got a japanese one which is the same as the jap yeah but again i'm just going back to my I keep trying all these guitars and basically the problem is i like every guitar pretty much apart from ones that are really expensive aren't that impressive but i mean all guitars are cool so they're all good but there is definitely something special with these and there's so many different models that are from this era this kind of thing i don't know any of these i mean the thor sound goes right up there's also one called a tri sound you get really fancy ones that have got active circuitry through neck you know carved rosewood tops big fancy fret markings all you know really luxury items um built by the same folk that built this so the important bits are all there kind of like the old um it's very much not the case now but when yeah gibson brought out their les paul special you know and it's like oh it's just simple it's only got one pickup doesn't it very bad and it's like pure, pure, fucking it's the same build quality as the other ones they just nowadays try and find a, a les paul special at a quarter of the price of a les paul like the way they were originally designed no, because now they've got value, so they go like, up here, right, let's, let's have a see how much, it, right, think of, think of a number, how much we can charge for this, right, oh, well, we'll triple that, yeah, there we go, yeah, <laughs> it's like the old Red Bull and Hagen das thing, you make a, you make a luxury item, and then you charge a premium for it, people want it because it's expensive, not because it's good, you know, I remember, um, the Hagen das thing, I saw it, I, I, I think it was just a YouTube documentary on it, and it was that like, nobody's going to buy, like, Ice cream at five times the price of normal ice cream. It's you know it's, it's for kids, you know, like your tub of raspberry ripple and stuff like that for two fifty or three quid or whatever it is. Nobody's gonna spend a tenner on that. And it's like pure marketing. We make it look we, we spend a bit of money making it look really expensive and then we call it Hagen Das, not Dairy Scoop. And then instead of being like raspberry ripple, you make it raspberry volatile. And then you just charge it and people will buy it because they're stupid. Run over. Rock on. See you tomorrow night for the live stream. This is like a, a double bonus video thing. I didn't actually get to play in the card. Maybe, maybe play it during the week. Maybe use it to demo something. I need to sell this amp. Anyone looking for a 250 watt head for gigging? Fucking belter of an amp. I did a demo of it. I might use it. I don't want to. I can't do demos of a guitar. You, of an amp using a guitar like this because nobody's got a guitar like this. In, in itself, okay, it's got P90s, but the thing I love about P90s is they're so obviously single coils, you know, single coils. And the, the neck pickup specifically. 
I mean, I don't know what that's a humbucker. But when you when you rock it up with a bit of rap pedal, it's got a it's got a to it. That's the sound of it. That's not even the pedal that I said was a, was a Sabbath pedal. This is what I said was a Sabbath pedal. My favorite about that song. Sorry, Troy doesn't use the neck pickup live because I watched him. Um, he was on the bridge pickup the whole time. I mentioned a minute ago, I've got, I've got to stop talking about it, it's been half an hour. Well, you got a five minute video earlier on, so that's fine. Um, saying there's a bit, little bit of a bird's eye maple on the back of one of the three piece, pieces of it. Oh, damn it, I was just about, I've just cancelled myself out. I was going to say it's really nice that the bit you can actually see when you're playing. I'll, I'll try and hold this up so you can actually see it. The bit you can see when you're playing. There, look, look, there's a wee bit of... Yes, that's all wow, so when you're actually playing, that's the bit you can see of the guitar. That's lovely, look at the other side though. If you get that the angle, look at that, look. Look at that, bird's eye maple, that's Schecter type stuff. Um, ridiculous. But these are awesome guitars. That's not bird's eye maple chosen for being maple, that's just birds, that's just happens to be that piece of wood, just happens to be, and they just used it anyway. So the chances are, on some of the models it would be getting painted, so... A wee happy bonus gives it a bit of a fingerprint so you, you know, i would never if i used if i played this a bit more i would recognize it and i would never get be able you'd never be able to steal it and give me it and replace it without me going that's not the same doesn't have the three bits of the bit of this super bird's eye bit so yes changing things on a guitar like this i would have put these tuners would have been standard on it um it would have had p90s as standard as well actually if i was saying there about the golden um when i bought the squire I, I did this conversion when I did the, got the Squire Bullet, the the, eight, the 16th ever Squire, because um, it's, well, it's, it's it's basically four single coils, but they're wads, kind of like a, they've got a coil split, but it's not really a coil split as much, it's like, more like taking two reverse wind pickups and sticking them together, wiring together, so when you actually split the bullet, you've actually got an actual real single coil strap pickup in there, so it's a duosonic, which is kind of what this was doing, and I thought, oh, can't have two guitars doing the same thing. I can argue, I can justify it, why some of these, oh, shit, I'll be struggling a bit between that and that, to be honest. Um, both get pretty much the same pickup. Pretty much, well, exa exactly the same bridge. There you go. Yeah, the same pick, well, no. That's only got three knobs, let's get four. In fact, those two guitars, those two guitars are made in the same place. Sorry, this is this is this is a, a, a groundbreaking exclusive. I just never realised these two were were quite as similar as they are. This is a Yoshi, which I got recently. 
Okay, that one's got a, a washburn branded thing on it. That's got a three piece neck. We don't know about this one. But um, yeah, so these two, okay, they're not exactly the same pickup because this one only has two screws, height adjustment screws. This one has three. But it's, that's exactly the same bridge. It just shows you the difference in size. So obviously, if you line the bridges up, but they're really look at the look at the fret markings on them. They're identical. This one has a this one has a, a first fret marker. This one doesn't. But that, these these two guitars are are made in the same place. No, this, this is what I decided. This was what 83, 82, at the same time. So basically, yeah. Raven and this Yoshi are pretty much exactly the same guitar. So how do I justify having two of them? Past justifying it. This is, look at it. That's, this, this, that, when I'm looking at it, this might be my favourite of the J-Paxers and it's mine. Sorry, Jane. But um, this one's just fucking stunning. Uh, and this, this is an amazing little guitar as well. Um, one of your unheard of gems talking about you know, early 80s guitars just being, Japanese guitars just being something else. These two are something else. You put them in a fight against anything you could buy for a thousand pounds just now. And okay, looking at it, you can say, oh, that's not a thousand pound. Oh, but, but actually, listen to it, play it. Better. Couldn't get that much kickback for that. I suppose people know me. Nobody, nobody, none of your, um, none of your Gibson snobs or anything like that here. The snobby folk are going to have got this far into a video of an idiot playing a cheap, crappy guitar. Anyway, so rock on and see you tomorrow night's live stream. I don't know when I'll put this out. I'll probably put it out later on. I don't know. What time is it? I've probably got time to upload it and then put it out at 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock. But I'll, it'll appear. Like and subscribe. Catch you later.